Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. Now today's video sees us take a look at a keyboard that I've wanted uh, to make a video on for a very long time. It's a keyboard I've had on my desk for just a few months, but a keyboard that I've wanted to test out and use for the best part of five or so years. So this is quite a nice moment for me. This is the Unicomp New Model M, which is in itself a faithful recreation, a modernized version of the classic IBM Model M PC keyboard that was bundled with IBM's PCs from around 1985 to 1997. And it's made by a company called Unicomp, and Unicomp aren't just some whippersnapping startup. Oh no. They are a bunch of old IBM and Lexmark employees who, for the past 15 years or so, have been making those these slightly more modern IBM Model M boards with pretty much identical tooling to the originals in Lexington, Kentucky. So this is as faithful of a recreation to the original Model M as you can get. And I'm in short, it's absolutely incredible. I don't need to pose any uh, rhetorical questions uh, for the intro of this, but just sit back, relax, and bask at how amazing this keyboard really is. So what about design? How does the uh, new Model M feel and look? Well, you'll be pleased to know that it features some rather nice and purposeful looks that are really from a bygone age, uh, to be perfectly honest. It's a shame keyboards these days don't carry the same kind of heft to them. This is fundamentally one of the best keyboards in terms of its build quality that you're going to find out there today. It's got this incredibly strong black plastic frame that's offset nicely by its two-tone uh, white and grey PBT die sub keycaps that are arguably some of the best quality ones on offer today. IBM purists may argue that as these aren't two-piece like some of the original M's were, that uh, this Unicomp model could be considered a little bit unfaithful, but from a personal standpoint it's arguably the least of my worries. The reason for this being such a hefty board in general is the fact that inside and underneath it you'll find a stonkingly massive piece of riveted steel that gives this thing an incredible weight and heft that you simply don't get on keyboards these days. And that means on the underside, the uh, flip-out feet that Unicomp have decided to bundle are arguably as thick as the keyboard itself, because that's what you need in order for this thing to uh, remain intact. Arguably, you probably don't need... Um, need those feet actually considering that this has a nice rake and a uh, <clears throat> nice angle to it so you probably don't need to raise it up um, for a more comfortable typing experience. The only real issue I arguably have when it comes to the design is the little Unicomp logo that sits in the top right corner where the lock lights are. Compared to the older square label Model M's from kind of 1985 and so on, it does look a little bit cheap by comparison but in the grand scheme of things it's not actually the biggest problem. But overall this is an incredible keyboard and feels like it's worth the 130 quid or so asking price. After all, the original Model M's and Model F that came before it were renowned for having some of the best construction um, kind of, of keyboards of the last 35 to 40 years. Uh, and that's been constantly reappraised right up to the present day with this very video, actually. Uh, it came at a time when keyboards really were something that you used uh, with the PC, uh, that you kind of it came bundled with, that, and that weren't just thrown into the nearest bin. Uh, and so it's nice to see that keyboards are still being made to that standard, even if it's by a small company to an increasingly small audience. So what about performance and with regards to switch feeling? Well, that particular point on switch feeling is arguably why you'd actually be buying a Model M in the first place because you know what you're looking for. Underneath uh, the fantastic Dice Sub PBT keycaps come buckling spring switches, which were arguably the hallmark of the Model F and Model M lineup from, as I say, the early 80s to the late 90s. The best part of kind of 10 to nearly 20 years of usage means that buckling springs have become the stuff of legend uh, to those within the enthusiast space and those outside of it. And these new Model M's, uh, the new Model M's do actually feel absolutely fantastic. As I say, they do, they are quite a heavy key press. I'd probably say it's about 65 to 70 centinewtons, depending upon uh, which boards you get. Of course, they're all going to differ very slightly. Um, but truth be told, it feels fantastic. And as this is first and foremost a typist's board, you are getting a fantastic typing experience, which is really what you pay for. If you do want to use this for gaming, I wouldn't actually suggest it, just given the fact that the key presses are rather heavy uh, and you won't be getting the snappy response times demanded in fast-paced games. Uh, nor is it really the best for those who like a little bit of customization, as there isn't really much to customize with this. This is just an, uh, a good old-fashioned analog, uh, GUE that is, uh, keyboard with <clears throat> no additional software or anything. Uh, the only real form of customization comes in the form of different keycaps. Unicomp do sell some on their site that were uh, custom done for geek hack, but other than that, you may be left scratching your head a little bit. 
So in conclusion, is the Unicomp new Model M worth a pickup? Well, truth be told, I'm going to recommend this thing till the cows come home and I won't have a bad word, real bad word to say about it. It's utterly marvellous. But in reality, if you are looking for an incredible typing experience, then you have no real finer option uh, than this particular one. Um, apart from if you went and bought an original Model M, which the prices seem to be increasing all the time at the moment, or if you can find one, a Model F in really good condition. Just note you will need a, a specific converter to make it work with USB. So that's just worth noting. Also, if you want a keyboard that's fundamentally built like an absolute tank then the model m doesn't disappoint it's got a certain heft to it that keyboards simply don't have these days uh, and is a reminder of a bygone age and also on that note if you want a keyboard with a certain retro aesthetic to it then the new model m does deliver on that and just add some modern uh, and helpful creature comforts like lock lights and windows keys and truth be told this is arguably one of the easiest recommended badges i've given in the channel's two-year history. This is an incredible keyboard uh, that, as I say, is a reminder of a bygone age. And if you can pick one up to experience the power and feel of Buckling Springs, do it. You definitely won't be disappointed. Now, all I've really got left to say is that if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to, of course, like, share, and indeed subscribe to the channel, and to ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads to follow us on indeed twitter and of course instagram links should be appearing on the screen right about now uh, and also down in the description if you're interested there's an untitled merchandise store that's hosted on spring where you can pick up all manner of t-shirts hoodies sweatshirts zip up hoodies canvas art uh pint glasses mugs and everything in between uh, all the stuff's of really good quality and spring do ship worldwide which is absolutely marvelous and of course if you like any of the kit that we feature in these videos be it this ludicrously wonderful new model m keyboard or any of the other myriads of keyboards mice multimedia controllers laptops headsets and everything in between that we've featured on this channel over the last couple of years or so, then there'll be Amazon links down in the description of those respective videos where you can uh, pick them up. So, once again, thank you very much for watching.